Carrie is een topjournaliste van het Amerikaanse blad Politico. Zij kwam naar Brussel om gewapend met haar pen de Europese politiek op zijn grondvesten te doen daveren. When I first told some folks in the White House where I was going to go to Belgium, the reaction of you know, the press staff was like, oh my gosh, I have to call up my counterparts there and tell them what is about to hit them. My name is Carrie Budoff Brown. I am an American. I uh, moved to Brussels almost exactly a year ago to help launch Politico's European edition. I was senior White House correspondent in the U.S. I covered the president for a number of years from back when he was not very well known. And then he went to the White House. I covered all of the major domestic policy battles he had, health care, uh, Wall Street regulatory reform, all the budget battles from the last few years, um, and just politics. I hear you're moving to Europe. Where are you going to be? Brussels. Brussels? Yes. <laughs> Helping Politico start a new Excellent. publication. Well, congratulations. So I've been covering you since the beginning, so. Well, I think, uh, I think, it's been a long road I long think road. there's no doubt that what, what Belgium needs is, is a version of Politico. <laughs> People laughed. And, and that's because, you know, the, we've had a, had a very, you know, tough relationship with the president because we didn't do what every, everybody else did. Back in 2007, you had a couple of major news organizations, the New York Times, the Washington Post. They reported just for the next morning. The news cycle was very slow, and you wrote one story a day, and people had to wait for it. Politico came in thinking, well, there, there's the internet. If you find out something when you're walking down the hall in Congress, uh, that you get a senator to tell you something, put it out right then. And no one else was doing that and you drive the news cycle, people, then everyone else is chasing after you because they were going to save that one tidbit for the next day. So we really hastened the pace of journalism in Washington. You know, it was, it was, it was very much a new concept then. Before we came, people said, oh, the EU is boring. You know, it's just a bunch of buildings. There's a lot of bureaucrats. It's just not that interesting. And we would always say, no, it actually is really interesting. The stories are there. They just need to be told. We're here to cover European politics much more aggressively and uh, comprehensively um, and in a far more accessible and fun manner. Driving a conversation that's important, you know, that's what we're here for. I feel very, very proud of where we've come so far. There's nothing better than a scoop, you know, in terms of how you feel about your existence as a journalist. That's what you strive to do. With every story you do, with your reporting, you're always trying to find out information that other people don't know. So the scoop is like the best thing. And then when you see it take off on Twitter or people sharing it or you walk into the briefing room and people say, hey, great job, like that's, that is sort of why we do what we do. We don't make a ton of money. You know, we, we work long hours. Um, but when someone says, hey, great job, I wish I had that story, um, that's, that's sort of what it's all about.